seeing us, how am I doing? <laughs> Welcome back, shrimp tacos. Y'all see it? It's glistening in the lights. Hit that subscribe button if you like that singing. I love how y'all ran up my three uh, New York signature dishes, whatever whatever that video was called. Y'all ran it up to 80 views. I'm just gonna have a long time. But I love seriousness, I put a lot of work in that video and to promote it, I love how everybody's viewing it, giving me compliments in person and all that stuff. I love it. Thank you. Appreciate all of you. But now, I need y'all to like the video. You didn't even like it yet? I'm not showing you anything. End of video. First, what we're gonna do is we're gonna gather our shrimp. We have frozen shrimp right here. We're gonna defrost it. How I did it was I put it in a bowl and put it under warm weather. Simple. We let it rest in there for about until it got unfrozen. We put it in the Ziploc bag and it's time to bring in the marinade. For our marinade, we use black pepper, cayenne pepper, onion powder, this red pepper, garlic grinder. I found in stopping shops. So just, just use that, buy that shit. It's gonna be worth it in the long run. Garlic powder, chili powder, extra light olive oil, and lime juice. We mix it up in the bag and we did the little fold. We seal the top and we did a little fold so the marinade can stay still, impact the shrimp while it stays in the fridge. We're gonna leave it in the fridge until we finish with our prep. Our prep is cabbages and our sauces. What I did was I cut it in half, cut off the stem, and sliced it on the sides. We want thin strips going with the circle of the half cap. Here's another look with the red cabbage. There's a, there's a little trick I learned, right? See that little line right there in the middle? That's your line where to cut. Cut through there and then go through the sides. So we put those in a bowl and we put it in the side. Now for our sauces, we slice the cilantro rub chop. Not too fine, not yeah, not too fine, but a little, you know, a little something. We cut all the cilantro, we save a little bit for our garnish. We put the rest in a large bowl. In that bowl, we just one lime, one whole lime, just that whole lime, add the juice from both the lime. We added a whole 24 ounces of sour cream. Then we season the sauce, this whole sauce, right? With salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, garlic pepper, chili grinder, whatever that shit is called. We mix it together, we split the, we split this bowl in half into another smaller bowl. So split the sauce in half, right? The other half is getting a whole can of chipotle sauce. This can I have right here, it's about seven ounces of chipotle sauce, we use this in the other half of the sauce. It's not spicy at all, but my heat tolerance is different from your heat tolerance, and I know that's a fact, because so many other things came in. So I say seven ounces of this, so I say half chipotle sauce, if you don't like your spice, full if you're a whole cheap, feel me? So about all that prep took you about like 30 minutes, so we're gonna pull out our shrimp, which has been marinated for 30 minutes. Grab a pan, oil, heat it up on medium heat. Right, once the pan, once the oil is hot, we're gonna add our shrimp. I forgot one step. Remove all the tails from your shrimp after it's marinated. Just do it, bro. You don't wanna eat shells. Shells, shells. Put the light sauce, the white sauce, pause on top of the cabbage. Mix it up. Do not put all of the sauce though. Save a little bit for the topping for the garnish. We're gonna drizzle sauce over the tacos itself. After you peel it, put it on the pan on medium heat with the oil already heating up. Let it sear on one side so it gets crispy. Try to at least flip it, haul the shrimp to its other side. It doesn't really matter, but at least get one side crispy enough, right? We're gonna cook it off after we flipped it from the initial sear. The key identifier is it will to tell if shrimp is cooked. If it's shrimp curled up and it turned orange pink, it looks like a, the color of a set. That's how you can tell if your shrimp is cooked. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get a moment of silence for this plate.
tired of y'all niggas saying I got no belt. My belt right here, bitch. Mm. Let's try this out real quick. 